So you've got Google's official Android emulator. Google designed this emulator primarily for gaming. This is the thing with Google Emulator that it only lets you install games and just games. So in here, if you try searching for WhatsApp, you won't find it. Well, I've found a working method that lets you install any Android app. I'm going to show you exactly how to install it. So without any further ado, let's zoom in. For any of you guys who haven't used the goddamn emulator, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys. So yeah, you better download the emulator first and then follow up with the video. Thankfully, there's a workaround. We need two things, the APK file and a tool to install that file. First, to get the APK file, we'll use the trusted site named APK Mirror to avoid any malware. Once you search it up, click on the first link. Here you'll find all the apps available in the form of APK. I'll search for a Messenger app to see if it works or not. Scroll down, and you'll see the latest version on top. Click on it. Now finally we have our download link. Once the file is downloaded, it will appear at top of your downloads folder. Now in our next step, we need a tool to install the file, for which we'll be using the Microsoft Store to download. After opening the store, you need to search for AOW tools. Once you click enter, click the first software that appears. It might say trial version, but this app supports unlimited trials for an unlimited time. Click on the free trial to claim the software and it will start downloading. Wait a bit and then click open. Before you begin to install anything, we need to configure some settings. Go to the device tab and you'll see our emulator is not listed in here. To connect this AOW tool to our freaky emulator, click the help icon in the bottom left. In here, copy the first line of code. Then open CMD and run it as an administrator. Paste the code that you've copied and click enter. It'll say OK, which means we're good to go. Now open the Google Play emulator and you'll see it says online. For the final step, set the emulator as the default device. Now we have our software ready to install. All we need is to drag the file into the software and it'll install on auto. Let me switch to the emulator and you'll see the app. It's right here. As you can see, it's working. Now guys, you better understand that I make legit videos. So you better subscribe or otherwise I'll kick your ass. You'll notice there is a problem with navigation. You can't go back and find a home page. So remember the key buttons, Control and B, to go back in the emulator. Control and H to go home. What if your app comes with an OBB file? If you've ever downloaded a game and noticed it comes in a folder, this means it won't be installed normally. It will give you an error like download failed or a straight black screen. But the solution requires some manual work to fix. However, you don't have to worry because it's actually quite simple. Open the AOW tool and navigate to your emulator's file system. The path we're looking for is Android and then OBB. This is where all Android apps connect to their resource files. Inside this OB folder, you need to create another folder with the exact package name of your app. You can find the name by searching it online, like what will be the name of the OBB file for Free Fire? After creating this folder with the correct package name, simply copy your OBB file into it. Don't rename the OBB file. Leave it exactly as it was when you downloaded it. If your app still doesn't work properly after following these steps, double check all the steps. Also, make sure the OBB file itself isn't corrupted. Sometimes downloading it again from a different source can solve mysterious crashing issues. Now you've unlocked limitless possibilities on Google's emulator. What makes this so easy to recommend is that you get the performance benefits of other emulators without getting all the RAM issues and horny ads. So yeah, that's the beauty of it. For you, watch this next video on the best first-person shooters available on PC and laptop. Thanks for being till the end. See you in the next video.